So I'm doing a, an interview with R A C H A E. How so? I know you were helping us plan for World Youth Day here at your in yeah World Youth Day here at your internship at St. Jude's. So can you uh, what when is World Youth Day? Uh, World Youth Day. Let's see. I think they had one in 1999 or 2000 or something like that. They had they had all these in the past. Oh. I, I don't remember either, but yeah, no, they had, I mean, the last one was maybe like five or six years ago in, in Poland. I think that was the last one. Yeah. But when's the next one? Yeah. It's in two years? It's kind of soon. What's well, next year? Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. one and a half years from now, right? <laughs> so it's in, it's at the, uh, it's in the, it's before the fall. It's like it, when summer's almost finished, 2023, 2023? Yeah. August, yeah, 2023, yeah. And typically, how, how long is World Youth Day? One week? Okay, it's one week. And, um, so, um, so, some people, they don't know anything about World Youth Day. Can you just tell people, like, the basics, like, who started it, um, uh, who's invited to that, and but just generally, who's it for? Okay. So, World Youth Day started on time way back, um, because uh, Pope John Paul II, he set it up. He established World Youth Day because he wanted to see young people travel from all over the world um, to come to one place to, to worship together in unity, to learn and to, to grow. So, and to meet with the Pope, with their Pope. So it's been going from like from the 80s to all the way up to, till now. And so teenagers, you know, if they want with, you know, some adult chaperones, they go um, as a group. We've had deaf groups and hearing groups in the past to go and sometimes those groups support each other uh, so they can grow in their faith and their connection with God and that kind of journeying and, and walking together to, to a far uh, different place can be exhausting but it's also a great team building thing it's a very beautiful and powerful experience so I'm very excited about it and looking forward to being involved in, involved in it and going in the next year and a half or so yeah Cool. Yeah, it's true. It it does. JP too. He really he he said he grew up with uh, pilgrimages, and he wanted to. And that was a powerful experience for him. And he wanted to share that with all the youth of the world. And um, so, I know um, young people. They um, they need to be motivated, and encouraged. Yeah, because they will take over the world. <laughs> Each generation always uh, inherits the world and needs to take over and become responsible for it. So our young people, they need a lot of encouragement and development. So it's, it's a beautiful thing to be involved with and, and support. Um, 
So you know if they have special deaf services at World Youth Day for deaf people from different countries? Do they have that? Um, you know, we tend to have that here in Boston. Father Jeremy, Father Sean Carey, and Father Jeremy help get a group of deaf people to, to go from, from this area. Oh, but when people uh, arrive there, deaf people, young deaf youth from all over the world, does, does World Youth Day itself, does the Pope, he provide good help and, and support for deaf people at World Youth Day? I don't know. I would, I would guess so. Well, yes, um, but I'll let you know, because me and Father Sean, we've gone many times, and they have a special place for the deaf youth from all different countries, all in one place, right near the, the Pope. So all the deaf young people from different countries get to meet each other. And deaf young people, they, they love like picking up other people's sign languages. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, and we had uh, that, that special place uh, for the deaf young people from all over the world. It was like, it was like the best place. <laughs> it was very special, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we get to learn their cultures and their sign and their perspective. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And, and at the same time, how all of us, deaf, uh, hearing, whatever, different kinds of deaf people, different languages, are one in the faith. So when you have the, the Mass with the Pope, you feel like it's very inspiring. You can see like, wow, the, the Church really is universal. And um, we had a lot of deaf plus our group. Uh, so we had some deaf people with, yeah, with cerebral palsy who went, and we had, we all support each other as a team. Yeah, we helped each other. Right. So we got to be involved, support each other, walking and... There was one young man who's deaf blind, yep, so we supported him. There was a girl with autism who went, yep. But we had a team, a team effort, and we all worked together. And you know, Jesus said we have to help our brothers and sisters. It's the body of Christ. We have to support each other. And uh, we want to try to give full access and really help each other and do some teamwork. Yeah, so it really was powerful. It's true. And um, our group, we have a good team, so really supported each other and worked to really support each other. And there was, there was another group. It was like, I don't know exactly, but it's like, you know, like a million young people from all over the world. Huge crowds. So crowded, it's like, you can't even believe it. it it's like the, the World Cup or the Olympics. It's a huge event. Um, so there was one group and they were all kids who were like more like all looked like they were like on the I don't know the football team they all looked like very strong kids but they didn't they were all like exhausted and they they had they was being silly and they didn't drink enough water and they were all like mm -hmm. Ball him, <laughs> and we had like all kinds of problems that we were, and we arrived at the place and it was successful. So you can do it. It is for young people, and whatever the situation, whatever even a disability, if you're young, you're young. Period. So the the Pope really wants. He called all young people to come, not just the rich. The rich and the poor, all. Oh. So, we, uh, we're going to need help with naturally prayers.
first. And if that's the only help, that's the best anyways. Um, and then, you know, people's skills and money to do a fundraiser so that we can really say yes to all the young people that have that opportunity to go to World Youth Day. So, anyways. And like he said, it's be challenging and hard, but we'll have success if we walk with Jesus and he sees us trying and trying and persevering uh, and not giving up and then we can have a success if Jesus, you know, as we, we help each other with Jesus, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, and Jesus will help us always be like creative too, with the Holy Spirit to, to find ways to have, uh, to make a, his kingdom happen here on earth. Yeah. Okay, well thank you. And do you want to say anything to the, the people here at the parish before you, um, now that you've finished your internship? I just want to say thank you. Enjoy my internship here. I would like to continue helping as a volunteer here at this church, and uh, I'd like to you know teach ASL and teach deaf culture and be involved with many things here for the for, for the future. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Mm -hmm.